This is a huge headline. OpenAI has truly stunned the whole industry with a demonstration of a new humanoid they built in collaboration with Figure. We discuss this new robot, where it came from, and all such questions. But to answer the most fundamental one, i.e. what it does, watch these demonstrations. Can you make me a cup of coffee? Thanks. Struggling to believe what you just saw? Well, some people are even claiming it to be another step towards AGI. But before we begin our discussion, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as we strive to bring the latest and greatest from the world of AI. We have seen this humanoid. It's named Figure One. And we know that OpenAI is behind it with funding. But what's the fuss about this new company, Figure? Firstly, we would like to say hats off to them because they have progressed at supersonic speed. It might be hard to believe, but this company is only 18 months old, and just look at the work they've pulled. They have built a working humanoid robot that can complete tasks using its vision mode. Not only can it perform certain tasks, but while doing so, it can also talk to users. The founder and CEO of Figure AI is Brett Adcock, and the company's mission is to expand human capabilities through advanced AI. Figure AI recently succeeded a groundbreaking $675 million funding round, leading to a valuation of $2 billion. The investors in this funding round includes the likes of Jeff Bezos Explore Investments, Microsoft, OpenAI, NVIDIA, and Amazon-related fund, Intel Venture Capital Unit, LG Innotech, Samsung Investment Group, and many other notable tech venture funding groups. Now, we need to make it clear that OpenAI's investment in Figure AI amounts to approximately 0.74% of the total funding raised in this round, but the work they have pulled together is absolutely phenomenal. Why are we claiming this? For that, come with us as we peep inside the AGI labs. The first thing that our viewers have noticed while watching the opening package is that the robot responds immediately. It is not super quick, but it's very reasonable, especially considering how other robots that we've witnessed in the past took ages to decipher what is being said to them. Some videos are also sped up intentionally to just show users what the robot is capable of doing. This recent demo, officially available on Figure's website and its social media handles, was all done at real-time speed. Not only is this imminent from the videos themselves, but Figure has also mentioned this detail in their X post, along with another claim that during the shoot of this video, the robot was not teleoperated. This means it was not being controlled by a human using VR controllers to respond to user commands. Their list of claims also includes that the robot is 100% autonomous and controls its responses via neural networks. The company has mentioned that the robot constantly gathers images from its front cameras and transcribes speech received on its microphones to understand its environment and users' commands. And here comes the big part. All the data it gathers in real time all that data it has in prepossession is processed by a model trained by OpenAI. This AI system, built by OpenAI, is tasked with two primary functions. The first is to determine the appropriate closed-loop behavior to execute on the robot based on a given command and loading specific neural network weights onto the GPU to carry out a policy. To be more precise, after understanding the human speech input and deciding what action should be the appropriate output to the command, the robot selects a suitable policy from its libraries and employs logical reasoning to enact it. The way this robot's synthesized speech sounds so natural and coherent makes it almost indistinguishable from an actual human. Some people might think that the voices coming from the robot are just recordings, but actually humanoid robots can talk in a very similar way to humans. It's something OpenAI still needs to roll out, but it's totally doable. We take a little pause here from the software part to look a little bit onto the hardware and control side of things. Standing at 5 feet 6 inches tall and weighing 132 pounds, Figure 1 can carry up to 44 pounds and move at a speed of 1.2 meters per second which is approximately 2.7 miles per hour. The company has also mentioned that this robot operates as a whole body controller, enabling it to navigate in a controlled and stable manner, preventing any risk of toppling over or making unsafe maneuvers. It is kind of similar to possessing a basic sense of balance and trying to coordinate body movements accordingly, just like us humans. Additionally, they highlight that it operates with 200 Hz action and one kilohertz joint torques. 
This indicates that the robot's actions are updated 200 times per second, while the forces exerted at its joints are updated 1,000 times per second. As a result, the robot can execute remarkably smooth and precise movements. The robot can also comprehend both visual and auditory stimuli from its environment, deciding on appropriate responses in both speech and action. These responses are then executed in real time without requiring human intervention, demonstrating its autonomy. The behaviors showcased in the video are acquired through training rather than being individually programmed for specific interactions. The company also claims that connecting Figure 1 to a multimodal model allows it to understand, process, and act in the same way as humans. For example, judging what kind of things are in front of this robot on the table, what kind of table it is, and where these things are located on the table. All of this requires some sense of vision. And of course, while correctly understanding objects in the surroundings, it was able to translate ambiguous high-level requests like, I'm hungry, to some context-appropriate behavior like handing that person an apple that was right in front of it. All of this requires not only audition, but also some cognitive prowess to link what it is hearing to things present in the surroundings. Lastly, we also saw the robot describe why it executed the particular action in plain English. While reasoning, it stated that the apple was only an edible item. The robot, in this case, also adopted the policy to hand over the apple. Now, this suggests that the robot can give high-level reasoning for its choices and actions, which closely match what we humans do. From the past few podcasts and interviews, we have found Sam Altman to be a big proponent of multimodal AIs. He had also predicted an upcoming robotics explosion likely between 2026 and 2030, driven by advancements in multimodal models being integrated into robots. Altman expressed his belief that AGI will become a reality within approximately five years, but only a few expected his company to join hands with a startup to build something like this robot we are discussing today. Simply, we've got a robot built to tackle tricky tasks using its hands swiftly and skillfully. Its various components zero in on different parts of the job to ensure smooth and safe completion. Now the question is, what model is it using? Another question is whether the audio coming out of this robot was engineered or fake. Addressing the second question first, we do not have concrete details on this, but OpenAI is, according to many sources, working on a model that could generate a voice close enough to humans. Coming back to the first, credible sources on the internet claim that OpenAI is using a different model for this because previously, when they discussed future updates for ChatGPT 5 and ChatGPT 4.5, they spoke about how they wanted to decrease the latency time so the robots could get a lot faster and a lot more human-like. There are people on the internet trying to point out different areas that are lacking, but the key goal for OpenAI and Figure right now is to improve the robot's dexterity and adaptability to dynamic environments. Across many platforms, we have also found a lot of people expressing admiration for the pace of progress, suggesting that the demonstrated technology could pose competition to existing players like Tesla's Optimus and Boston Dynamics. Now, that is all we know about the robot so far, but we will keep you updated. We cannot end this video here because this robot has already shook the industry, especially because of how close it takes us to full-blown artificial intelligence. Keeping that in mind, we need to stress that such developments have significant implications for employment and social settings. In terms of employment, there's a potential for automation to replace specific jobs traditionally performed by humans, particularly those involving repetitive tasks in sectors like manufacturing, consumer service, and even healthcare. This could lead to job displacement for many workers, requiring retraining and adaptation to new roles in the workforce. Furthermore, in social settings, the presence of such robots could change how people interact with technology and each other. These robots could become integral parts of daily life, assisting with tasks, providing companionship, and even contributing to decision-making processes. There are also concerns about privacy, security, and the ethical implications of relying heavily on AI-driven systems for social interaction. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more AI news and updates. The robot we have witnessed is truly mind-blowing, but have you seen the updates to GPT-6? To find out, click on the video link popping up, and we will catch you there in a second. See ya!